Well today is Thursday the 5th of May and does anyone know what the significance of today is? Aside from the fact that it's a beautiful morning, nice, sunny, warm, first time for ages that I've not had to wear my thermal, uh, thermal trousers under my leathers, uh, very very pleasant. But yeah, the significance of today is it's polling day in England, Wales and Scotland. Polling day in, it's election time for whatever elections we have in various places. So in Scotland there's Scottish Parliament, Wales there's Welsh Assembly, in lots of parts of England there's uh, council elections, um, and everywhere else in England we've got police and crime commissioner elections. So what's, uh, what's so significant and important about that? Well, it's democracy. You know, today we all get the chance to have our say on various matters. Look at these two. Munching away on a sandwich there without even... Oh, how irritating. So, yeah, democracy. And for me, I, uh, where I live, I uh, no council elections, just uh, police and crime commissioner elections. Choosing my police and crime commissioner for the Thames Valley area. So why am I talking about democracy? Uh, well, for me, it matters. It really does matter. Uh, I went this morning to vote and I arrived at the polling station at 8 o'clock this morning. So the polls have been open for an hour. Uh, the area that I live in, yeah, talking about a few thousand people, generally tends to be an area where most people, uh, most people go out commuting to work every day. So you'd expect that people that are going to vote are going to vote either first thing in the morning or when they get back from work. So I went in at uh, 8 o'clock this morning, polls open for an hour, and I was the 6th, yes, 6th, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, person to vote for a police and crime commissioner. I'm sorry, but I think that's outrageous. Yeah, you were going to be looking here at a turnout of yeah, low figures, well under 50%. I mean, I'd be surprised if it hits 30%, to be perfectly honest. And, and I think that's really sad. So I took my, uh, took my kids with me this morning into the pony station because I'm a big believer in, uh, in going and voting. Uh, showed them what we were doing, what I was voting for, what the ballot paper looked like, how you mark your cross, putting it into the uh, ballot box afterwards, and then, uh, and then I had a load of questions from them, taking them to school straight afterwards, uh, which is great. Yeah, hardly anyone's going to vote in these elections, and, and it drives me up the wall, because yeah, you get... Firstly, it's not, it's not difficult to go and vote. I mean, it's easier now to cast your vote, have your say, than it's ever been. The polling stations are open from 7 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night. So, yeah, there's no excuse for saying, oh, I can't get to the polling station. Look at this tosser. And, even if you can't get to, your, to the polling station you know, within those hours, which I think is unlikely unless you're away or something like that, yeah, you can apply for a postal vote. Yeah, if you want to be really, really lazy and can't be bothered you know, to go to your local polling station, which for most people, the vast majority of people, is you know, not exactly very far away, Um, then you can apply for a postal vote and you can have your ballot paper sent to your home address 
fill it in and post it back. It doesn't even cost you the price of a stamp. So, yeah, I have, I have no thing with anyone who says, oh, can't be bothered to vote. And if you can't be bothered to vote, then don't moan. Don't complain when things don't go on. People are so quick to complain these days without taking any personal responsibility whatsoever. And remember, democracy is important. You know, everyone always gives the standard thing, doesn't it, that you know, people fought in world wars and gave their lives to preserve democracy. And it's a real sad state of affairs that the vast majority of people can't be bothered to even go and exercise their vote. The, the normal argument that comes out from people is, um, oh, they're all the same. Um, well, okay, there's no doubt that politics has become more centrist, more of the middle ground, because that's what we as a population demand. We're, we're voting and electing pe uh, you know, people that fill that ground. So is it any surprise that the political parties kind of converge to that centre ground? Um, so we're responsible for that. The second thing that you normally get is, oh, they're all a bunch of muppets and they're all corrupt and they're all in it for themselves. Well, I'm sorry, but that is total and utter bollocks. Yeah. The same with any profession or any job or anything that anyone does, there's always going to be some bad apples. So you will get those power crazed, corrupt people that are in it for themselves. But again, the vast majority, I'm talking about the high 90% here, they're not in it for the power, they're not in it for themselves. They're in it because they believe in something, or they want to make a difference. And I speak from experience in that, in another life, actually I spent 12 years as an elected councillor. You know, I put myself up for election three times for people to vote for me. I was lucky enough to, to get elected three times. Um, and I did it because I didn't like certain things and I wanted to change it. I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to put my money where my mouth is. And for anyone who tells me, oh, they're in it for the money, they're in it for themselves. Yeah, right. You tell that to, uh, to anyone who, yeah, when their life's never their own. When, yeah, actually, as I had once, someone ring me. Uh, half past seven on Christmas Day because their hot water in their council house had stopped working and they needed it sorted. Yeah, of course, I, I, I did all that stuff to, to get all that. Now, I'm not moaning about that because I chose to put myself up for that and I chose that. So, for me, that was what was part of the job. But um, I certainly didn't do it for the glamour. So that's, I think it's really important that people do exercise their vote. What's, what's this clown doing? What's she doing? Weaving over the road. What, what's she got? She's, she's doing her fucking makeup. Hey! Doing her makeup. Mascara there. So it's, it's easy to go and cast your vote. Yeah, you can hardly moan if you don't cast your vote. Thank you. As a lot of people do do. And yet yeah, people fought to save our democracy. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, the other issue that people say is, oh, I'm not going to vote because they're also saying, and they're a bunch of Muppets. Well, yeah, but this is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah, people continue not to bother to go and vote. And so you get people being elected on, you know, 20% turnout, 30% turnout, something like that. 
you're, you're devaluing the position. You're kind of saying, I don't think this is important enough to go and vote. It's, uh, it's not an important thing to do. By doing that, how are you going to attract better quality people to come and do that? If, if their initial thing is, oh, people aren't bothering to vote for this because they think it's a waste of time, you're not going to attract the higher quality candidates. So it's, you'll end up with the same dross, if that's what you think it is, because it's only idiots like me that will put their self forward. And the uh, yeah, because it's seen as, as some form of stigma that you're some sort of subhuman if you put yourself up for election that you're class as a politician this is what british culture has done now add on to that yeah a successful businessman earning a good decent salary Do you really think, you know, some are probably, I think, it could be ideal for elected office. Do you really think that on top of being made to feel like a subhuman, that they're going to give up that career, successful career, for, you know, a pittance of a salary from being a politician, for one. Secondly, for being made to feel like a subhuman, and thirdly, all the abuse that you receive and get from the general public. I mean, we treat our politicians with absolute contempt. Rightly so in some cases, but it's kind of like the, that's kind of like the de facto standard thing. It's very wrong. When did we become so cynical as a country? So to all of you out there that uh, went out, cast your vote, had your say, even if that was to spoil your ballot paper rather than vote for a particular candidate because you didn't like any of them and you do that, you know, you've actually voted with your feet. For those of you who've done that, uh, well done. And I don't mean that in a patronising way. I mean that sincerely and genuinely. For those of you that haven't, think about why you didn't. And think about some of the things I put forward. You might fundamentally disagree with me. You know, that's the beauty of democracy. But if, if, one, if at least one thing I've said kind of resonates a tiny little bit. I hope you might think differently the next time you've got the opportunity to cast your vote.